안녕하세요, 여러분. Now we, you must be able to read Korean, and your reading will be much fluent and accurate by doing more meaningful practices. This video introduces you the useful expressions we will learn and use in class, and also encourages you to write them in Korean. Watching this video or listening to the pronunciation is not enough to master Hangul, as you are required to write. Answers in Korean later. So, do not just listen to the pronunciation, but prepare your lecture notes and write the words uh, to practice writing and boost your long-term memory. In order to write Korean syllable, we need to understand how to combine consonant and vowel. If the vowel includes vowel E, the initial consonant will be written on the left side in the syllabic box and the vowel comes on the right side in the syllabic unit. If the vowel is U, then the consonant goes to the upper part and the vowel is at the bottom. In case there is an ending consonant, the initial consonant and the vowel must be shortened and the ending consonant is written at the bottom of syllabic unit. Therefore, you will need to consider the formation of the syllable and adjust the length and height of the letter flexibly. Let's try to read and write some borrowing words in page 7. I will just highlight some essential parts that might affect your writing due to your prior knowledge of English. Number one is bus. The ending consonant S will not be pronounced in Korean, therefore they need to form another syllable for this. For this purpose, the vowel U is added, and it became two syllable words. Pos. Pos. Number two, radio. In Korean, consonant R is not existing, so they will replace it with the closest sound, which is L. So, Korean word for radio becomes la di o la di o For the last syllable, O, it must include the circle-like consonant on the top. Because each syllable must begin with a consonant. Number three, Coffee. In Korean, there is no F consonant. Therefore, it is written in P. Ko P. Ko P. Even though spelling shows the vowel O in English, the vowel O is used in Korean. Ko P. Number four, design. The word design in Korean have three syllables. The vowel I is reflected here. They separate the sound into two. Cha, in. Ti, cha, in. Number five, keyboard. Usually the R after the vowel is not reflected in Korean spelling. So we mo most of the time, they ignore the ending consonant R in English word when they try to write the borrow words in Korean. The last sound is the consonant D, and it also requires the vowel to form a syllable. So it ended up three uh, syllables. Key, bo, de. Keyboard. Number six, computer. For the borrowing words, the vowels are not matching letter to letter. So the Korean word use two o's, one for com, the other for ta. Unlike the English word o and e. Computer. Number seven, smartphone. There are two things we can look into. 
The first is the ending consonant T. Again, it needs a vowel to form a syllable. Secondly, phone. There is no F sound in Korean and it is replaced with consonant P. So the pronunciation will be smartphone. Smartphone. Please remember that there are no F, V, R, and Z sound in Korean language. These are replaced with pa, pa, la, and ta in the borrowing words. Here we can have a deeper look about some frequent mistakes in writing Korean. First, students often forget that there must be an initial consonant even if only vowel is actually pronounced. So in this case, circle-like consonant is needed. It's silent when it is used as an initial consonant. Second, Students are aware that there is an ending consonant in the syllable, but locate it wrongly. If you con uh, pronounce as one, the consonant must be attached to the vowel and written in the same syllabic unit. Ending consonants are always located at the bottom part of the syllabic unit. Third, usually in the borrowing words, students tend to apply English phonetic system. So leave the consonants independently without a vowel. Due to their English knowledge, the native speakers might be uh, able to understand uh, what you intended to write, but it is not a correct way of writing syllables in Korean. So bear in mind these things mentioned above and practice writing more. Now let's turn to page 14 and practice writing. Before writing the words, you must try to read it, find which vowel is used either E vowels or U vowels, and write according to the stroke order. It is the best practice if you are flipping the lecture notes and visualizing what is written in the notes, and think of what you are writing. If you skip writing practice but just read with eyes, it doesn't assist you your learning effectively. So invest your time and effort now for writing practice. Let's read and write one by one. I will repeat twice. Na Na Cho Cho No No O O, Ku, Ku, Sa, Sa, P, P, Cha, Cha, Ta, Ri, Ta, Ri, Ton. Ton, nun, nun, pang, pang, chip, chip, pyong, pyong, mal, mal, changmun. 창문 오늘 오늘 이름 이름 나이 나이 학생 학생 시험 시험 방학 방학 수업 수업 
교실교실대학교대학교선생님선생님한국한국한국어한국어말레이시아말레이시아 Please memorize all expressions in page 14. This is the checkli checklist before proceeding to chapter 2. So if you are able to read and memorize all the expressions in the page 14, you are ready to proceed to chapter 2. In chapter 2, we are going to learn how to write and read uh, vocabulary, uh, especially for family, objectives in classroom, occupations, and nation names.